Corey Gumball strikes again. Old C money. Can't stay away from the work even if he tries. And I was excited to not work and work out. Work out. I was excited to go work out. That almost sounded like play compared to all the work I've been putting in. Let's just get to it. Daddy's got the bird cage. He's got to go nuzzle away in. Uh, Freedom o'clock is winding down. Uh, what did I accomplish today? Well, I did pick up my candy machine from the locksmith because I can't figure out how to get those freaking locks off to replace them. Those things that hold the, the lock together inside the machine, that little almost looks like a ring um, that you put on like your finger and punch someone with, like holding the two connecting sides of the lock together seems so attached and just cemented on there I am not skilled enough to wield a way to get it off and how to resort to paying someone to get them off and then I can put new locks on I had to go pick that up and, and the thing was I have another machine that needs to go in to well I was going to bring in to get the um, old locks taken off of a used machine and I was like, dude, I'm putting my foot down. This guy's making so much money off of me and these locksmiths. They just have this attitude and this demeanor that is like, don't ask me anything. Leave my shed of a shop and don't come back until I call you to come pick it up. And when you do, hand me the money, grab your thing and GTF on out of here because I'm not your friend. I'm not, I'm not your dad. I'm not someone that's going to teach you the ropes. I want to ask this guy, hey, can I give you a hundred bucks to teach me how to do this? You know, and, and I'm looking on the YouTube videos. It's not so easy. Because when they take these locks out, they pop right off. None of them talk about this issue of that ring connecting part being so stuck on there that not even tools that I've tried have taken it off. I don't know if I'm not putting enough arm strength, elbow grease into it, using the right tools, whatever the combination is. Maybe I need to spray it with some some lube and then hammer it out and then try a tool. That's what, you know, it's sounding like from dudes at Home Depot, you know, trying to talk me through it. Anyways, this is not about, well, it kind of is because today, what did I accomplish? I got that machine and the inside was so full of um, candy, old candy. Um, I had to go home, gut this thing out, spray it down, clean it with apple cider vinegar, scrub the thing down. At one point, I, I took out all the parts. I sprayed this thing down. I cleaned it out. It looks brand new. And if I show you this machine, it's gonna look like at least a $100 uh, machine, if not more. Uh, 120, 130 for sure, right? I bet I could resell it for around that price. It looks so good, especially when I put the stickers labels on, covering up a little bit of some squiggle pen. Um, anyways, so I detailed that machine and that felt really good by the way. And that was like a $40, a $50 investment. But when I got the machine and got into the bottom there was almost ten dollars worth of quarters there was like nine dollars worth of quarters 75 cents was mine from, from testing out the machine so essentially at least eight bucks off the top of the machine 50 down to 42 it cost me 42 a drive so you got to factor in the gas probably that eight bucks and quarters let's just say there and back it wasn't that far so probably less five to eight bucks um, and then I had to have the lock guy pop off two locks for 20 bucks. And now I have to put two new locks on for probably 15, right? So it's not so glamorous. At first, I got the machine for 40, for 50, minus the quarters in the machine, down to 42, got lucky right there. I'm at 42, plus the gas, I'm at 50, uh, plus the new for the locks taken out because I'm not good enough or skilled enough. That cost me 20. Could have been free if I would have done it myself or knew how. So now I'm at 70 plus the new locks, 85. 
and I had to gut this thing out and clean it, which took a better part of an hour, hour and a half, I would say, sweating that one out. So what am I at? 85 bucks and a, uh, and a full clean. Was it, is it really worth it? I don't know. Those machines are what, you know, new machines two, 250, uh, as low as maybe 175 up to about 300 would be the range. I'm not sure what the Segas go for, right? It's only, it's like my second one. Um, they look cool. They're black with like a, a, a gold, uh, plated, you know, turn on there. And so they kind of have this, like if I had a barber shop and the aesthetics were, were black or black and gold, kind of what I'm looking at right now, it'd be like perfect for the shop. Then I had to test out a couple other gumball machines and I had to make sure to size up or if I can size up the inside so that the amount of candy that comes out is proportionate or I'm just wasting everyone's time. And when I mean everyone, I mean, I mean mine, right? They're cool with getting more candy. I'm not. Anyways, this is a new candy location. I made a couple phone calls and I did a couple door to doors in my neighborhood because I'm like a kid in a candy store when I'm walking or when I'm driving through my neighborhood, I'm just like everywhere I see that could be a potential client. I'm just like, dude, I just want to pull over and pitch them. And sometimes I do, you know? Um, and I made like one phone call to a barber shop that was right down the street from my house and the guy was into it and I couldn't believe it. So like I made two phone calls and the second one, uh, the guy bit, uh, like a fruitaceous apple. Um, wait, what? Yeah. So anyways, the nice thing is as bad as I have to go, this place is right down the street, which is great from home base. Let's check it out. So unfortunately we are right next to my favorite a liquor market baby yes a liquor market is literally the neighbor to this shop which brings down the value of my candy machine right next to a gas station right next to a major street with some houses and some traffic but once again this is not a big enough shopping center to have real market value and the thing is that's just me thinking with my gut instincts i don't have any statistics to really base it on could this postal express go in and use my machine they'll probably just go to the other shop now uh salon sure why not you know farmers agents yeah why not but then unfortunately they got the liquor store right there. So if they want a snack, they're probably not gonna come in unless they're homies with like this guy. But the nice thing is you can see, I am missing a label, but as you walk by, it is clear open and you can see my candy machine walking by. And so you see Starburst, you see M&Ms, you see that they're open. Let's go ahead and check it out. Once again, super cool shop. A lot of stylistics, a lot of props, a lot of decor, a lot of flavor. There is nice, cool air conditioning on. This feels good. Such cool art, like up here and all around. You got an ATM machine, you got a drink station, you got a TV with luxury couches. That is a money move right there. That is so cool. I mean, this is a straight den of a lounge. Uh, just a really cool shop. And it just got even cooler. So I mentioned about that black with gold that he was interested in. Uh, the girl seemed like that she liked this gray. It does match um, the back. Girls are pretty good about this stuff, so she likes it. Everyone, you know, is good with it. So it is a uh, black on gray. Uh, I tested it. Machine actually works really well. I got some fresh looking peanut M&Ms in this room. In this room temperature, they should be fine. I got traditional gumballs for right now, and I do have Starbursts, which need to raise up the level. And then I do need a label right here.
Thanks, brother. Talk All soon. Right, Cheers. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. Uh, I got to get to that birdcage. So we got a new location. I think this might be 29. I got to double check. Um, it might not be the busiest location, but the nice thing is it's right down the street from home base. And so I can check on it or switch it up if need be. Um, I'll tell you this. I saw a um, some auto plays. I, I, the auto places, man. You have so much traffic of people coming in. You have more workers, right, coming in. Um, working all day. I, I feel like those are the those are the potential like real gems, you know? Like that collision course seems like it's gonna be a great spot. Um and yeah, I, I feel like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah. This is the Woo! This is uh this is the jam right here that I wanna see my work. You don't own me. You don't own me. I want to sing that so, like, when I, I had a tough day at work. I mean, not really, but, you know, uh, I heard a lot of shit talking in the background as far as, like, um, not actual shit talking, but it was like, hey, you're pissing off the kitchen with all your modifications. They don't like it if you keep doing it. They're gonna go to the managers, the bosses, and, and complain. And I'm thinking, dude, don't tell me what to say. Don't, 